What's going on YouTube? It's Ryan Eats Apple, and it's the other show you guys did downgrade iOS 5 back down to 4.3.3 or any iOS firmware you want. And now to prove to you guys that I'm on iOS 5, I have the music app and I also have the, re the reminders app and I also have newsstands. And if you guys are not clarified by that, I have the notification center that again comes with only iOS 5. So now I'll be showing you guys how to do this. So that basically the first thing you want to do is make sure that your iPhone or iPod Touch is plugged in via to your computer. Um, it, it's just on my dock right now, but it is the cord right here is plugged into my computer. Now after you have plugged your iPhone or iPod Touch into iTunes, I'll be showing you guys uh, everything else on my computer. Alright you guys, once you guys have plugged in your device via USB into your computer, if iTunes hasn't opened up already, you want to go and you want to open that, and you want to right click on your device if, if iTunes hasn't started backing up already, what you want to do is right click on your device and click back up, and you guys, this is mandatory because you're going to be restoring your device and that will delete everything such as your music, your apps, your photos, your iBooks, everything in that sort will be deleted, but if you back your device, you can get all of that back if you um, sync your, uh, your iDevice into iTunes after the process. All right, now I have that cleared up, you guys. Um, uh, so after that, what you want, what you want to do is open, open up your internet browser. And if you guys are using a Windows computer and you're using Internet Explorer, you, you cannot use that for this part of the tutorial because IPSW files are not compatible with Internet Explorer. So you're gonna have to download and use Firefox, uh, Google Chrome, or Safari, um, and all of which are for free. And you can get those for free elsewhere. And once you've once you've opened that and gone to this site, which I have in the description below. You want to uh, click on iPhone slash iPod Touch, and you want to look browse for your firmware or for your iDevice. And since I have an iPhone 3GS, I can go to th iPhone 3GS, and you just select the IPSW you want to down you want to downgrade to. So for the iPhone 3GS, I can downgrade from anywhere from 3.0 all the way down to 5.0. And the only IPSW that I don't have on the site is sadly the 4.3.3 IPSW because Apple has deleted that off their site. But you can get that by simply going into Google and typing in, typing in your device name. So since I have an iPhone 3GS, I would type in iPhone 3GS um, 4.3.3 IPSW download. And then it should uh, give you a whole bunch of list of websites where you can download that um, I advise you download from either Mediafire or up Mega Upload because those are trusted sites in my opinion. Um, so once you have done that, what you want to do is uh, go to this other site and you want to download something called RecBoot, which will click, which will kick your iDevice out of DFU mode or any other error that iTunes gives you um, can screw up your device. So this is also a disclaimer: I am not responsible for any damage done to your iDevice whatsoever. Um, because you can run into problems and iTunes can give you errors and then uh, put your device and they can lock your device and you may not be able to get that out. Alright, since I have that cleared up you guys, uh, what you want to do after this is you want to go into Windows Explorer and you want to open up Local Disk C. You want to open up the Windows folder and you want to scroll all the way down to the System32 and open that up. And you want to open up Drivers and then ETC and then you want to uh, double click on hosts and uh, open it in notepad and uh, you should have another window should pop up that looks like this um, it won't have uh, these these two codes um, at the bottom of your uh, at the bottom of it, it your, your, your guys may not look exactly like mine it may look a little different maybe a little longer a little shorter doesn't really matter um, it all just kind of depends on what your device is. Um, but I'll have two codes in the description below that you want to copy and paste into here. Um, right below where the text ends. And you want to click File and then Save. And if Windows, uh, uh, if Notepad doesn't allow you to save this, what you want to do is copy all of this. So copy all of that. And you want to minimize that. Minimize that. And then you want to go and you want to open up Notepad again and then paste all this information and then click save as and uh, what you're doing is you want to type in uh, delete the dot txt and you want to and you want to type in hosts and uh, make sure it's all lowercase and nothing else and then you want to save it to your desktop and make sure um, your save as type that um, which is right below the file name you want to uh, click on that and make that all files instead of a text document and then you want to go and you want to save that and you should see it somewhere on your desktop maybe right here, I'm actually uh, opening it, sorry, uh, you'll see it right there, and what you want to do is right click on that, and you want to click rename, and you want to delete the .txt, and click enter, and it says it'll change the file name extension, you want to click yes, 
and you should see that it changes from a text document to just to a blank page when it's done loading. And what you want to do is you want to go back into your Windows Explorer and where, where and go back to where you found the host file and then drag in your um, your own made host file um, into this and it'll ask you to override it and you and you can click yes and then you are done after this process. Now I'm going to take you guys to my other camera. I'm going to show you guys to put your device into DFU mode. Okay, so how you put your how you put your device into DFU mode? What you want to do is while your device is plugged in, what you want to do is you want to click. Is what you see when I hold down on your home on your on your power button for three seconds, and then hold the home and power button for ten seconds. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, and then let go of the power button and then uh, count to 10 again. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and then just keep holding down until you until you see on your computer that it has showed up that your device is in DFU mode. Alright, for me as is has just uh, opened up on my computer, and I'll take you guys back to my computer. So now you guys want to close out of your iTunes and open it up again. I already did that. So what you want to do uh, is you want to hold down Shift and click Restore. And another window should pop up, and you want to select. And this is where you can select your IPSW, so you can find that wherever you saved it from from that site. And so I'm going to be downgraded at 4.3.3. I click on that and click Open, and it's asking me iTunes will erase and restore your iPhone or uh, to iOS 4.3.3. Um, and we'll re ver verify this restore with Apple. So you want to click restore and it should start restoring. And if you guys run into any errors and iTunes gives you any error codes like a, such as 3194 or 1016 or any of those errors, go check out my other video. There will be an annotation on the screen now and you can click there to go to my other video to, help, uh, to get some help on that. Alright, so that is the end of this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you guys do follow me on Twitter. All those links will be down in the description below. And make sure you do, again, subscribe for more v videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.